I still remember the first anatomy class in medical school. The professor came in and he started going through his lectures on thorax anatomy. And I remember sitting there looking sideways to my friends and thinking, am I in the wrong class? From that moment, I realized that anatomy was really going to make my life miserable. However, fast forward this to one year and I topped my anatomy exam and started working as an assistant teacher in anatomy at my university. So in this video, I'll be breaking down how I was able to achieve this and nail anatomy without overburdening myself. What's cooking sapiens? Welcome back to my channel. Now, first of all, let's talk about some useless tactics in learning anatomy, which I personally think everybody should avoid. The first one is anatomy textbooks. Reading textbooks in anatomy is a complete, complete, complete waste of time. And that is because anatomy is a visual subject. You are supposed to memorize a map, the map of your human body. And since it's a visual subject, you don't really have to read it in order to understand or memorize it. For example, if you wanted to memorize the map of India, you don't really have to read the sentence that 10 kilometers to the south of New Delhi, you have a UP or Haryana. I don't know, right? You can simply open up a map, look at the picture and see that, okay, to the south of New Delhi, you have these provin provinces or these cities. To the north, you have this and this. You don't have to read these sentences. So if you want to memorize cardiac anatomy, you don't really have to read all the sentences in a textbook. You can simply look at a labeled diagram of a heart and see and look and learn, visualize that, okay, here you have the heart, you have the four chambers, two atria, two ventricles, and you know, you don't really have to read that mitral valve is the valve between the left ventricle and the left atrium. You can see that, you can learn by looking. The second thing that is completely useless, according to me, and you should probably avoid, is drawing anatomy, because I see all these students sitting in the library and drawing anatomy, you know, anatomy structures with an atlas or a picture diagram in front of them. And then coloring that diagram and spending hours and hours labeling everything and making these drawings, these illustrations, because they think that will help them learn better. It might help you learn better, but I think it's a passive process. That's the main reason because it's a passive, passive process. You're not drawing from memory. Had it been that you were sitting there and basically drawing everything from your own memory, it's different. But most students sit down with an atlas in front of them and they look at the atlas and then draw. That is completely passive. You're not really using any brain power, any brain juice to really extract that information from your brain and then draw. That's not active recall. It's a passive way of learning, which you should at all costs avoid. Secondly, it's very, very, very time consuming. You know, it may take you hours to draw a simple anatomy diagram because you have to color it, you have to label it, you have to make it visually appealing. So when you can literally learn twice as fast by using, let's say, you know, active recall methods, why would you want to resort to a method that is passive and is also very, very, very time consuming? You have methods which will take one third of the time and also accomplish much more learning. So why go to these two ineffective methods when you have the effective ones which I will share now. The first thing that you must do is to get yourselves two atlases. First of all, a regular normal illustrative atlas like which everybody uses. Uh, my personal favorite is the theme atlas which I found to be amazing because it is very limited in text and at the same time has really 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 good illustrations. And then once you are done studying let's say thorax anatomy on that atlas on the basic you know figurative il illustrative atlas then you go over to the next atlas which you must 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 buy and that's called a photographic atlas and this is where you will find pictures of real cadavers and real anatomy images you know so really you can sort of learn anatomy first of all on you know the perfect anatom anatomical anat anatomical illustrations on the tm normal atlas and then you can go over and see how you know you have these individual variations in a photographic atlas in cadavers because because you don't really have access to cadavers all the time right when you're when you're at home learning you don't want to you really want to look at the cadavers and learn so the best thing you can invest in is a photographic atlas to look at real cadaver pictures my second pro tip is to really simulate the exact same exam situation when you are doing your group study sessions with friends quiz each other and this serves two important benefits. First of all, it's active recall. For example, my friends and I would go down to the dissection hall and really open up a random cadaver. And then one day, let's say I am the examinator. Then I will ask my friends, I will quiz them. I will be the examinator. I'll pretend it's an exam. I'll tell them, okay, start talking about abdomen anatomy. And then they have to open up the abdomen and start explaining to me what they see. And then after quizzing them, I'll tell them, okay, now, now switch to uh, brain anatomy, explain brain 
brain anatomy and then they will have a brain in their hands and start talking about the brain in this way you really you get really really good at first of all switching between different body parts you know and secondly explaining those or you know explaining the anatomy in a very very professional way you're able to sort of express what you know you're ex you express your knowledge and that is really an art as well which needs practice and on top of that it's active recall for both the examiner aka myself and the candidate aka my friend because we both are forced to really extract information from our brains aka active recall instead of just sitting at the library and you know going through the atlas passively the second benefit this serves is that it reduces exam anxiety to a great 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 degree and that is because now you have basically simulated the exact same exam situation with your friends multiple times right so now you know how an exam is going to be the only difference being that now on exam day you will have a professor with a beard and glasses and bald like myself asking you questions instead of your friend in the dissection hall but I think most people can really tackle this stress quite easily once you have been through or simulated the, the, the exact same exam situation. My third pro tip is also a different way of doing active recall and now you probably know why I scored so well on this exam because I was pretty much doing active recall 24-7. So first of all you really have to be prepared before every anatomy dissection lecture. So before going to the dissection hall you must know what you are going to dissect. For example if you are dissecting the arm then you have to really know and be prepared before going to the lecture you know before going to the dissection hall um, and secondly when you go there once you are in the dissection hall you really need to avoid using your book or any notes because you have to sort of really extract brain juice you have to really extract that information from your brain while looking at the arm instead of passively having the notes in your one arm in your one hand and you're looking at the cadaver and that, that's passive guys so you have to make the best of those anatomy sessions as well and not take your notes or books with you and try to really actively recall what you see and what you learned the day before for example that's a wrap for today's sapiens anatomy is not that hard as most students claim and so is medical school watch this video where i break down how hard medical school really is and before you leave kiss that subscribe button i'll see you guys on the other side take care peace